Yes, guys, quick video, fun video for those of you interested in the fashion of the tennis tour. We're looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly in terms of tennis outfits at the Australian Open 2022. Let's quickly just run through what all the apparel companies brought to the table this year. Then I'm going to give out awards at the end of the video. Best dressed, freshest, fly, you name it. You know, the good looking tennis outfits out there. And then conversely, got to do it. The bottom three worst outfits. What were they thinking outfits? My retina is burned just laying my eyes upon you outfits um, at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe, try, trying to grow this channel. With all that said, man, let's get into it with the two titans of the apparel industry, the swoosh and the three stripes. Nike, bringing uh, more of a white base and um, a red base uh, this year. Uh, they look pretty good. Shapo uh, was wearing both of them at different times. And yeah, they look like a million bucks out there. Grigor Dimitrov in the all red, per usual looking like a boss. Uh, who else did they have? Kyrgios and Alcaraz with the tank top cat. I'm filming. Get out. Um, so yeah, Nike gets a passing grade. Thumbs up. I did like last year's more, but uh, they did their thing. Looked pretty good. So what can I say? Adidas, the three stripes. Pretty uh, polarizing. They're trying to make a splash with a more of a tie-dye theme. Felix Ogier Aliassim looking like he... I had a rocket pop melt on him out in the Australian heat. And I gotta say, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I know it's, like I said, it's polarizing. And CC Paz, with same theme, different uh, colorway, no go for me. Didn't like that one as much. I know a lot of you are gonna uh, love and hate it, as I said. New Balance with uh, Tommy Paul. Looked like a, a he spilled his Capri Sun all over him or, or something. Like he drank a margarita and it just fell on him. Um, no, nah, nah, not going to do it for me. The orange and the pink is uh, tough to look at for sure. And then Jordan Thompson with the tie-dye shorts. We're going to talk more about tie-dye shorts later, but um, it's hit or miss. And in this case, um, I'm going to have to go hit. I like it, believe it or not. So Tommy Paul, no. Jordan Thompson, yes, for New Balance. A6 dressing the speed demon himself. The kind of nice tropical vibes. Uh, good colorway, what can I say? I think they get a thumbs up. And then Lodo dressing the Aussie Milman. Uh, again, a conservative colorway, tried and true, navy and orange, can't go wrong. So uh, thumbs up there for, for Lodo. Lacoste trying to keep it proper, trying to keep a tennis in the uh, a gentleman's sport, keep it in the country club with this outfit on Medvedev. The colorway is cool. I like a cool mint, but dang, that collar is just enormous and so tacky. And for me, it ruins the outfit. So thumbs down for the gator. Um, from France. Yonex. Herbie Hercatch is such a freaking square, man. His tennis is, is good. I'm not criticizing that, but he just needs some flair. And Yonex uh, did him just that in that lime green. Pretty sweet outfit. The Yonex logo in and of itself is cool. Also look at Danny Altmaier, the young German, uh, looking sweet in the Yonex outfit. So two thumbs up for Yonex. Just go around. Diadora from Italy dressing Davidovich Fokina and another doubles player. I forget his name. But they looked like the rocket pop before it melted on Ogier Alias scene. And I gotta say, I like it. Those red shorts are loud and proud. Uh, it's bold and it works. So Diodora taking a risk and uh, finding some success there in my book. This is all my opinion subjective. So remember that. Hydrogen, otherwise known as the uh, white, trash of, <laughs> white trash of tennis. Is that insensitive of me to say? Is that over the top? Uh, they're just so tacky. They're overpriced. It's way too busy. Historically, their shirts are just uh, thumbs down for me. But this go around. Hit the nail on the head, baby. I love it. Dressing Aslan Karatsev. Uh, it's just a sweet outfit. It's just baby blue and white and um, pretty cut and dry, but uh, looks fresh to death. So hydrogen with two thumbs up from me. Uh, what else we got? Lopez. Feliciano Lopez with Joma. Last go around, perhaps. This man is older than Rod Laver himself. And that hot pink works, baby. I guess that's what the kids are wearing in his mind these days. He's trying to keep himself young. And um, it's tacky in some people's eyes, I, no doubt. But I think it looks pretty cool. So Lopez with Joma, nice job. All right. That's pretty much the overall summary. Let's get to the winners. Number three spot for the best dress. I got to give it to one of the goats. The only goat playing, Rafa Nadal. Uh, the magenta, quite nice. Some say he looks like Barney the Dinosaur with the purple and green. But... 
I, I, I can see that, but he looks like a gladiator. He looks like typical Rafa, just a warrior, a sweet tennis player out there. So, um, you know, the V-neck is, uh, can kind of take away from the outfit a little bit, but <clears throat> overall, really cool. And uh, it gets the number three spot for me, Rafa Nadal. Uh, number two spot, who did I have there? Oh, yes, of course. Back to hydrogen, the skull. Got to give it to Martin Fucevic. I know a lot of you are going to think this is hideous, it's heinous. Who am I to, to criticize some tie-dye and then come back around and give an award for it? But just the pink shorts with the uh, bluish purple, it just goes. It's loud, but uh, not obnoxious. I think it, it looks really cool, and uh, I'm considering buying it myself if it weren't for the egregious price point. So Martin Fucevic and Hydrogen get the number two spot. And then the number one spot... The best dressed player. Who did I have? Well, I'm like checking my notes here. Yes, of course. Uh, Liam Brody with Badu Bidi. Bidi Badu. Another obscure brand, but he uh, unfortunately short-lived. He got kicked to the curb by Kyrgios in the first round. But it, it's very busy here with that fiery uh, glass tile look. Orange and red. Super, super boss. But uh, keeps it dumbed down and kind of back down to earth with the conservative navy. Really cool outfit. I'm definitely going to be searching online. Maybe I can scoop it. I'm afraid they're only a European retailer and I'm over here stuck in the U.S., but um, we'll see what I can do. Let me know if you agree with my top three, Liam Brody, taking the number one spot. Congrats to BD Body for this elusive award uh, from Trashman Tennis. All right. The reason why you're here, negative new cells. The bottom three. Man, let's start with Benoit Pair. It looked like a soggy French fry, man. What is that monochrome drab color colorway, man? Tan onesie? Come on, man. You can see every bead of sweat collecting, starting in his belly, connecting up with his chest. It's just, it's. you can see him pitting out. It's disgusting. Um, absolute eyesore. I don't know what they were thinking. And then the tagline, be normal. I don't know what that is. Pair is the farthest thing from that, so maybe it's actually fitting. A uh, constant reminder that he needs, but... No go. Uh, soggy French fry is uh, definitely the best way to put that for uh, the number, number number three spot on our list. All right, number two spot goes to who was it? Dang it! I'm gonna have to pause this video one more time. Yes, of course, Yannick Sinner gets the number two spot. He's dressed out of Nike, but hear me out. His red span is a bright red, and then you look at his socks, and they're maroon, and that in itself clashes. And then you got some burnt orange up top, and it's just doesn't go the the colors don't match and it was enough it was bothersome for me <laughs> i know some of you are rolling your eyes but uh yeah i mean when you have colors that are clashing out there and you have these hideous socks you're gonna make the list of bottom three outfits so yannick center great tennis from a tennis standpoint fantastic from a tennis outfit outfit standpoint need some work need some work all right and then number one spot gotta give it i hate to do this to um a brand new sponsor. We don't see him on the tennis circuit. And uh, their first outfit, I believe, was an absolute failure. Lululemon with their new athlete, Adrian Manorino, doing the guy some disjustice. He's on the biggest of stages playing Nadal, looking like he went to Walmart and picked up a six-pack of Hanes undershirts in that thing. That, that Crusty. And they don't even match. you got some eggshell white, some off-white. Off it looks like that shirt could be standing up in the corner, man. Absolute no-go. So Adrian Manorino... I, uh, you may want to reconsider going back to hydrogen because um, Lululemon ain't cutting it right now. Stick to $95 yoga pants, Lululemon. That's all I got. If you enjoyed the video, again, like and subscribe. Uh, whatever you do, man, remember that a trash bin tennis is all about the tennis trash we've been. See ya.